how my Rocklear bandy clamps went from this to this. It sort of reminds me when a pile of puppies goes from this to this. Welcome to WB Fine Woodworking. I'm Don Bullock. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this clamp rack for my bandy clamps. I found these clamps to be very useful, but I needed a place to store them and a way so I could just take the whole group of them to a project and not pick them off one at a time. So here's how I made this clamp rack. Now I need to make a clamp rack for some of my other spring clamps. First, let's look at the parts that we need to make. This one we'll call the backer board. Next is the hanging piece. Then we have the French cleat. Last is two pieces of molding to center the hanging piece on the backer board. First, we'll make the hanging piece. This is a piece of poplar from my scrap pile that we'll use for the hanging piece. I'm marking where the French cleat needs to go with a short piece of the French cleat material. After marking the location of the French cleat, I lined up all the clamps to decide how long to make the rack. You may have noticed that the French cleat on the hanger suddenly appeared on the opposite side of the board. I'll explain that later. I pulled out a piece of oak from my scrap pile for the backer board. Once I decided how long to make the rack, I cut it to length on the table saw. I cut the French cleat the width of the backer board. At the bandsaw, I cut out the opening for the French cleat on the hanging piece. The location of the cut was remarked earlier so the piece would fit on the bandsaw. I suddenly noticed that the opening for the French cleat wouldn't allow it to be taken off the backer board. So I had to remark the opening. So it's back to the bandsaw to enlarge the opening for the French cleat. To keep the hanging piece centered on the bottom of the backer board, I used some scrap molding. Using a small centering ruler, I set the hanging piece in place and measured the length I needed to cut the two pieces of molding with another ruler. I decided to cut the two pieces of three quarter inch long molding at the bandsaw. Going back to our original prototype piece, we can see that each of the molding pieces is rounded towards the center to guide the hanging piece. Using a carpenter's triangle, I marked the molding pieces so that I knew which side should be rounded. Using my belt sander, I removed the bandsaw marks and rounded the center of each molding piece. I used one of my sanding blocks with 220 grit paper to sand each piece of molding. Now for a quick look at the original to see how the French cleat is attached. It's then glued in place. Next to look at where the molding pieces need to be and glue them to the backer board. With all the pieces made and glued in place, it's time to apply the finish. I use lacquer for all my pieces in the shop because it's easy to repair. I 
I located the stud and attached the backer board to the wall. I made sure the backer board was level and screwed in the bottom. To fix the problem, I made a new hanging piece and glued two pieces of the French cleat material to it. I may do this on the other clamp rack too. Well, my fix worked and the clamps are now hanging on the wall again. Well, I now have a clamp rack for my bandy clamps and my large spring clamps with the new fix. Now I need to get some more clamp racks made so I can get all of those clamps out of the box I showed you earlier. If you like this video, remember to hit the thumbs up down below. Please leave any comments or ask any questions that you might have. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate all of you that have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so today.